Okay, I want to do kind of a different video here that shows how to apply barcodes printed with a label connector for QuickBooks. Now, with our application, you can use QuickBooks data to quickly print labels with or without barcodes. In this example, we are going to talk about barcodes. And let's say you, you are ordering um, parts from a supplier on a purchase order. We can use receipts as well, but it, you can pull up the data from that purchase order and quickly print labels with barcodes and you can take your PO item and put that in barcode form usually for most people that's like an alphanumeric number and you can print barcodes but let's say you want to use those barcodes now to scan into an invoice and that's what I want to show in this video there's lots of videos we have already on printing the barcodes but so you've got a in this example we're going to show you how to make uh, to scan into an invoice now you've already got your uh, items barcoded using label connector and you've got your goods you know labeled all over in your shelves and you wanna you know you've pulled the items and you want to make an invoice or really any other type of transactional document in QuickBooks sales order you know sales receipt anything you could do this way but um, what I've done is I've configured my scanner to um, scan the barcode and append a tab key after the scan I'm going to just show you quickly what that does on the screen so you see it it brought in my QuickBooks item by scanning because I had this in barcode form on the label or it could be your item whatever that is your item could be one two three four five but when I scan that, it tabbed over to the quantity field where I could just enter that quantity and, and go down to the next line. So you can use this as a way to eliminate mistakes. If they have the goods out pulled um, and you want to make an invoice to give to the customer or a packing slip, you could do that. You can scan directly in here. And it, if you append a tab key, um, technically, in some cases, you can call it a horizontal tab key to the end of each scan with your scanner. Uh, then you can use the barcodes and the labels generated with label connector or any other way you can get your items barcoded um, and scan into an invoice, have it tab over. In this case, I had to format an invoice so that it had the item and it had the quantity in the next column so that it would be convenient to do this. So, uh, just a quick video this is not you know um, as quick as other ways to rapidly scan um, and process data but if you want to use you know the QuickBooks user interface and scan barcodes this is an efficient way to do it as efficient as you can be on the screen um, and scan into an invoice uh, there is a repeat scan feature in the enhanced barcoding feature that uh, to be honest with you, I haven't heard of people using it. I'm not sure if they're still supporting that, but it works with only certain scanners. Um, this feature that I'm describing can work with any scanner that can append a tab key after the scan. We can help you uh, source a scanner that can append the tab key after the scan. Um, I will say that not all scanners can do that. Uh, there was a time when most could. Um, if you get just a run-of-the-mill scanner off Amazon, many of them don't. Uh, most of the decent industrial class scanners that we can recommend for you can append a tab key after the scan. So, um, again, more of a scanning video here. Hope this helps out with, you know, again, the workflow would be you label your goods as they come into your facility or at any stage you want you can use the item list with QuickBooks with label connector as well to do that and then once you've got everything barcoded you can then scan into QuickBooks this way we can do sort of customized things uh, both on Android mobile devices and on Windows to make even faster ways to scan uh, but this is the way you can do it just using the QuickBooks user interface right out of the box, you know, with label connector to scan barcodes. If you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to call AccuWare. Thanks.